would say the value of NTI training to clinicians is having a comprehensive um, training and body of knowledge all in one place. I have never seen anything like it. I think there are very few therapists who really receive an in-depth um, education around child welfare issues um, and it's very hard for them to be competent if they haven't had that practice. Um, for example, one thing that's mentioned in the training is to really um, think about the entire family. And um, typically therapists will see a child on their own. Um, and this is really not effective when you're working on building the relationship between um, the child and the parents. Um, and so one of the recommendations in this training is that the entire family should be seen together. Um, that's just one example of um, the depth uh, with which this material has been put together. So <clears throat> if I'm meeting with a family for the first time and talking about um, being competent in this subject area, I often talk about um, the importance of understanding what's beneath the behavior that the child's exhibiting. All the families come to me, of course, because there's this <laughs> poor behavior, um, and really understanding what the function of that behavior is and how the child's early experiences have impacted them and their relationship with their parents and their family. And I, I guess one of the things I would like to add is that it's very, very important to support the parents in um, adoption competent practice. Many times people see just the child as the, um, the client and really parents are in often a very stressed place themselves. They are, they don't understand why the child hasn't responded to their love and why they aren't really um, in this kind of dream family that they had imagined. And they feel very discouraged. Um, I've actually met with families before where uh, because of poor practice by other therapists, they've actually relinquished a child, not believing that they could overcome the challenges um, that are presented by the child. I mean, there, are, there is really excellent practice. This training is really about um, how can we make children feel calm and safe and, they're, and connected to their families. Um, so there really is hope we know what to do now, but it's, um, it takes a lot of support for the families and it takes a very high um, skill level on the part of the clinician. And I think that's one of the things that the training has been very effective in is, is teaching people, you know, in a way that um, they really get that kid's sense of um, safety and security is paramount before they can function and that the behaviors really are just a result of, of those feelings and that it's really essential that the children have an opportunity to talk about those feelings um, and understand what's happened to them before so that they can actually then calm down because once they can understand, maybe the world makes a little more sense to them. Yeah, so the last thing I would like to mention is that I often feel that therapists who work with families where the child has had intense early trauma or may have been adopted or come from an orphanage or another hard place. Uh, and it, when those therapists work with those families without specialized training, it feels to me as if they are a general practitioner, physician, trying to do heart surgery they don't have the skills, they don't have the specialized knowledge, they don't have the training that they really need to make a positive impact on the family, to help that those parents change that child's life.